Can we say volume though? Okay. All right. Can we say volume? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel for another video and I miss you guys so much so today I wanted to come and just share with you my most recent curling tutorial I know I already have a curling tutorial here on my channel I think a couple of them actually but who doesn't love a good hair curling tutorial I recently got a new curling iron it's called the Bella Pro I bought this with my own money and I got it from uh, Marshall's I believe or Burlington one of those stores like Marshall's um, TJ Maxx or Burlington and I've just really been in love with this curling iron it is a one inch I believe or one and a half inch I believe it's a one inch no it might be a one and a half I'll find out okay I'll list it in the description part below the other things that you're gonna need is or are I guess a big rake comb you could use either one of these this is my favorite really to use to kind of comb your curls out I also have a paddle brush here excuse the fact that there is a lot of hair in this paddle brush okay and um, that brings me to my next point which is hair this hair I do have a video explaining all the details on this particular hair however I would not personally recommend this hair unless it was something that you were doing short term I have been getting a lot of shedding from this hair so if you guys are looking for some, you know, good quality hair to last you long term, I will insert information about that below. You can definitely check out the Mink Body Wave Collection from NiorahHair.com and that will get you right. Also for this, I'm going to be using some of this Extra Strength Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil. And this is just going to help to kind of like combat any dryness. I did add a little bit of this beforehand and I already went ahead and brushed out all the tangles. This is definitely something that you want to have on hand or just like a light heat protectant or any serum that will help to protect the hair because we're using a hot tool. I also have some holding spray that's going to help for the style to last a lot longer. This is the Professional Sebastian Shaper Spray in the original formula and I love this spray because it doesn't make the hair all crunchy and hard. And last but not least I just have a couple of clips because I do like to section my hair off and curl in sections and the um, curl closest to my face I like to clip up and let cool so you guys will see how I do all that. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just take your paddle brush and brush through the hair just to make sure that there are no tangles. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of split my hair down the middle and bring it to the front. Going to add a little bit of that serum and just run it through the hair to help bring some luster back to the end. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my front section first because this is the curl that I want to be the tightest. Okay, so I'm, clearly I'm battling with my camera right now and it decided that it wanted to overheat while I was doing that last curl. So I'm going to have to show you guys again on a different curl, okay? So moving on to the next section right here, I'm going to take it, split it into a smaller section, detangle a little bit, split that into even a smaller section, and clip this away. And I'm going to go ahead and curl this again away from the face. And this time you guys can see. So I'm going to go ahead and take it inside, starting up near the root. Not too close though, because you don't want to burn your scalp. Who am I kidding? You still don't want to burn your cap, you know? And I'm just going to go ahead and Basically feed that curl in there. I'm gonna hold it for about 10 seconds and then I'm gonna go ahead and release that curl. Now if you wanted this curl to be a little bit tighter all you need to do is just go ahead and kind of accordion that curl up. If you hold the curl up like this as soon as it comes off of the barrel of the curling iron the curl will be nice and hot meaning that it will hold the form of the curl that you're trying to give it a lot better than it would if you just go ahead and drop it okay so you see the difference in these two curls 
I layered the hair too. That's also a big deal when it comes to like volume, but I did layer the hair when I first installed it, but you can see pretty much this curl is a little bit like more put together and defined than this one is. This one looks like it's like really stretched out. So yeah. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on and just do the rest of my head so you guys can see. I'm gonna always be curling away from my face. I'm gonna speed this up so it doesn't take so long. The closer you do your curl to your scalp or to your cap, the more volume that curl is gonna have and the um, the closer to the ends that you curl your hair. So if you wanna start your curl here, like you wanna place your barrel in here, it'll make sure that the roots are straight because sometimes people have like that look where it's super sleek right here and then they only have curls on the bottom. That's how they get those looks. I'm done with this side I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of the shaping spray on it to kind of retain that curl and I'm gonna go ahead and oh I'm lying because I still have another section to go I'm gonna take this I could split this really into two sections and do this and this but I'm not going anywhere tonight this is just for video purposes so I'm just gonna go ahead and these curls would normally last me a few days, like two to three days, give or take. But if you want the curls to last a little bit longer, you wanna make them a little bit tighter all the way around your head, meaning that you could even use a smaller curling iron. Um, make sure that you pin the curls up before they cool, that way you can get that kind of memory impression in the curl strand. And then also take smaller sections too because that's gonna to help to have more defined curls and make those curls last a lot longer. Okay, so now that is the last section on this side, and I'm gonna go ahead and move over to this side. Again, starting at the front of my side, I'm going to go ahead. Now, for this section, I don't want it coming straight back like this, so what I'm gonna do is I have the hair, I'm going to turn it forward and then I'm gonna go ahead and curl away from the face like that. So that way I can kind of over direct the hair and control where it's going to fall when it does fall. And again, I'm curling away from the face. I'm gonna hold that for about 10 seconds. And bring it down. And you see how it didn't take it like straight, you know, straight back where it's like showing everything. This I can, now I can control it. I can put it behind my ear. I can over direct this piece the way that I want to. When you're turning the barrel of your curling iron, make sure that you still have tension. Tension is really important when you're curling as well. If there is no tension when you're curling, then you can't really be sure that the hair is close enough to the actual barrel in order to, you know, get that heat to curl it. So tension is really important. You want to make sure that there is some tension on that hair. Yes. No. Hashtag mom life. <laughs> I've been wiping booties for almost five years. I'm done. <laughs> I quit. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> it's time for her to learn how to wipe her own butt. 
if you're a mom, I'm pretty sure you feel me 100%. Like, once you can walk and talk and have opinions about what you want to wear, uh, I think you need to um, know how to wipe your own um, booty. I'll go behind you and check now because don't want you walking around with swamp booty all day, but... You know, if, if, if I may have, you know, the mercy, just... Try it for yourself. Okay, so I went ahead and finished this side before my camera sh like overheated again. And I sprayed it with, actually no I didn't. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with a little bit of spray, okay? And just let that cool for a second. Like the insides are still warm, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and drop this. Now you see how tight this curl is? This is what's gonna give us that like va ba voom voluminous. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my rake comb, which of course has hair in it, and I'm gonna go ahead and comb through these curls. What'd you say? Yes, honey. Can we say volume? Can we say volume though, okay? All right, can we say volume? If you guys want a video on how to do layers in your weave, let me know, thumbs up this video, leave me a comment down below and let me know and I will get that done for you guys. But yeah, this video is pretty much done. This is how, <laughs> this is how I've been rocking my curls lately and I think that this um, curl compliments this color so much i get so many compliments when i wear my hair like this and i can see why y'all like it <laughs> i'm gonna go enjoy these curls probably film some more videos and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching as always i love you guys bye